Hello everyone. Today we talk about really smart hardware, colorful materials and a beautiful furniture design by Michael Hilgers. The whole thing is called Willi. Mm -hmm. uh, Evelyn, think... you built it in the last couple of days. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more what it is. Um, let's dive right into it. Yeah, so this Willi is a very clever, smart um, home office solution, uh, which gives you the opportunity to, to just put everything you need uh, for work in there. Um, have uh, your earphones, um, pens, organize everything you need, and then you really can start your day and start to work. And yeah, use it as you want. And if the day ends and you're ready, just put everything back in here, all the things and close it you don't see anything of it and you have a beautiful piece of furniture with a really really nice surface so okay basically this is this is really right only this part here no everything of the, this whole furniture is really yeah i mean the the whole the whole uh, drop in basically right so yeah. the so we made out of a a shelf, more like a, a usable piece of furniture. Exactly. Um, where can I get the plans? You can get the plans, <laughs> and that's very important, of course, on Shaper Hub. So if you want to build it, just go on Shaper Hub. Um, yeah. Get the plans, get the all plans, the instructions. Everything you need to build it. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's. Let's see it from the outside again, because it's very refined and sleek. Uh, I've, I've seen you building it over the last couple of days. I, I got some insights yeah. uh, how you build it, um, but I think it's a sign for good furniture design that you cannot see how it has been yeah. jointed and built, right? So if I'm opening this one up, I think the only thing I'm seeing is this tip on here. Yeah, right. But I cannot really see how it's being jointed. Is it glued? Is it screwed? Um, that's a really nice thing. So we built the whole thing with, and we showed it before, we call this Kaifa Binder. And it's a very clever solution to put things together and also reassemble it again. And that's so exactly how this whole furniture works. So yeah. you can also put it out and disassemble it. And yeah, let's let's dive more into it. So let's take a close look at these little yeah. dovetail um, pieces here. They have been super popular with our customers, uh, especially here in Germany. This is where they originate from. Um, and Michael Hilgers, the designer from Berlin, who is really famous for um, smart smart furniture um, design. You can follow him on Instagram. He got really excited when he got to know these and. He got even more excited, I guess, when he understood <laughs> that he can use them with Origin. So you can put in this specialized cutter and you can cut these slots right with Origin in like very simple shapes, like this more uh, linear kind of uh, shape. But you can also cut all kinds of other little shapes, dive in here, cut the whole shape and have these little dovetails then slot in here for like a very firm fit. And um, Evelyn, you showed me like one design which got even more spectacular, which yeah. I think is really hard to do. Any... A really special thing. So maybe you have pressure from all sides and you need something like this so that everything fits together perfectly. Okay, it's more like a circular kind of joint. Oh, even and more. And there's nice. even more. Nice, nice. So you see how this all fits together and holds together and you don't see anything of this very special connection. Cool. So. I'm really intrigued to see it working with Origin. You already put in the cutter, have a little sample piece here. Yeah. I'm really curious, how does the contour look like? Like, I, I cannot even imagine right now what you're cutting shape-wise. All right, so I already put this file here. So we build like this one and we will cut these pockets. pockets and the file, you can see it right here. And ah, more like an, a little outline, basically. Right. So yeah. what's really important is you have to go in here with your cutter and cut the whole thing around and come out here again. Otherwise, the function 
uh, with this dovetail cutter, um, Kaifa Binder cutter um, isn't given anymore. So let's get started, yep. I think. Let's, let's cut this. Looks like a very quick and simple operation, so I think it shouldn't take us long. <laughs> really interesting so it's only a line right so you yeah. you 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 um, insert the material at one point and it stops at the end is that correct right yeah so it, you cut on the line you go inside here with your cutter and go like this back to here where you come out and then you can see with this kaffer binder that are already in here put them in hole Quick and then nice. it fits perfectly. It's a very firm fit. I think this is what I'm always impressed by. And the cool thing is, if the fit is not snug enough, you can just uh, further tighten the screws. Exactly. Um, yeah, right. This will expand the little dovetail um, plastic bit and therefore make it a little bit wider so you get an even more snug fit. So that's, that's a really smart and easy way of doing it. All right, so we talked about how the furniture was being jointed. Um, I've seen you cutting um, another prototype, and which is more bare bone. And yeah. I think it gives us a good opportunity to talk more about the design, what kind of hardware has been used. Um, lots of kalfe in there here. Yeah. What are these for? So these are for the front you can um, put on here. And that's very clever because you can change the front. Uh, you can have different styles, different types. Um, yeah, try different things and always give it a, a different look. design, a different nice. look. Okay, yeah. so there's a little bit more involved, mm -hmm. some kind of hinges, um, the tip on, we talked about this before, right. and those little parts, which I, I don't know what they are for. These are dampers and you put um, this one at the bottom over here. I will just show you how this will work. So. The front, you can have to imagine the front will be down to here. And if you open everything, it will just go against here. Ah, nice. And ensure and like it, a soft closing. Like a very yep. soft closing, so it don't push too hard against yep. this. Yeah, these are the right. dampers. I see a couple of hinges here. I think in the final design, we um, arrived with Michael. Um, only three ones. Only so three. You can okay. see four yep. of them, but we put only um, so three. So this is an earlier version. And then I can see the beautiful material from Forest Color, which is this like really nice high quality MDF with yeah. different uh, color shades. I think we're going to talk more about this later and see what you Very nice with material, it. Yeah. very um, nice to cut even with Origin and the cutter. And you have very wide range um, yeah. of designs. All right. So the whole design was cut with Origin. Um, I mean, you, you cut the basic squares, I think, yeah. and then there's a really smart way of lining it with templates yep. and doing all the, exactly. the cuts and the, the points for the for the culture business. Okay, one thing which really blew my mind, I think this is where <laughs> yeah. I got really interested, is uh, was when I understood how this furniture, which doesn't really look like a piece of furniture, right? You <laughs> could add some custom stands here to make it uh, like stand free in a room, uh, yeah, more right. like a little little desk or something. But I got really excited when I understood how comfortable it is with one of the most widely sold shelves already available globally. Uh, it might look familiar to you. And if you know it, if you maybe have it at home, yep. you might remember when you build it that those boards, they, they rest on those little pins here. And all you need to do is you take out one board at the height you want, you take those little pins out, and you just put in four of the little dovetail connectors on each side, so eight in total. And then let's go back to the design. Yeah, because that's the very nice part. So we have like these cutouts here. You can see them and they're also made uh, with a carpenter cutter and you can just slide, slide in. Willy into okay. the shelf. Yeah. So let's do it. 
All right, so let's take it over here. So that's the interesting part because it really means you can use this piece of furniture in the shelf at different heights and therefore have it um, serve in different ways, of course. Okay, so this is a really nice snug fit here. Okay, we will not push it in completely, right? Because we still need to put on the front. Yeah. All right, so talking about the front. Um, yeah. We prepared some. <laughs> Nice. So this is a very nice um, looking um, piece I've made. So here we didn't cut through, but here we have these cutouts and you can play with the color of the different uh, materials of forest color. So if you have like the back of it, so the whole yellow body, base, for example, yellow yeah. base, and then have this dark material. And of course you can think about a lot of ways. Um, you Green can have, backdrop, nice leaf yes, cutouts, leaf stuff cut like this. So this All is right. really nice. Okay. It's just one opportunity and so this Maybe. one, I think I want to use this one now, a little bit of Berlin hipster look. Yeah. Um, so okay, this, this is more like an engraving, right? Right, that's an engraving and um, yeah, you can have this engraving, but also play with, um, have colors, yeah. um, color it the way you want. Let's maybe show quickly our audience here. Um, so those are the cutouts, yeah. plenty of them. And now we just need to aim for it somehow. And But that's really on. easy, so with origin you can work very precise so everything fits yeah. and okay so it's slide. already hanging like this right it's hanging like this and now just we just push it up push it up nice and there you have a different front okay so let's fully push it in i guess mm -hmm. right. yeah. nice slide it in perfect right tip, the tip on, on sure okay so run us through the options i mean this is pretty wide so far i understood it's like a standing desk yeah and now suddenly it's something else, this. Sure, you can yeah. use it in many different ways. As a standing desk, where you can work, but also um, if you maybe just want to read a book, you can take your stool, you have it down here, open it again, maybe drink a cup of coffee, tea, nice. or do whatever you want. So you could have it either down here or up there, or both, which both. I, I really like, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing... So the interior is slightly different than in the other one. Yeah. So this means you could even customize the inside, I guess. Right, so that's kind of already customized. So if you want to have several slots in here, um, you can also work with this connection we already know. Um, make it really your own. Play with it around. Um, okay, some add. more good stuff from Hefeli here. So I guess this is already <laughs> your plan for like a cable yeah. outlet maybe somewhere. Right. Because if you, or you can also have like ah, for nice. changing, uh, charging your phone, have uh, lights in here so spot because if maybe you work uh, late in the evening and you still want to do something, some maybe LED have some light in, in yep. here, right? Um, yeah. Cool. One. All right. I think uh, Evelyn might be back to work uh, <laughs> while I'm wrapping this session up here. Let's do something. Yeah. We really invite you to download the project, Willy, from Michael Hilgers um, on Shaper Hub. Uh, get the plans today, they are online for you. And let us know in the comments, how will you use Willy? Is it useful for you? Um, will you slot it in into an existing shelf? Will you build something custom? How are you using it? Is it a standing desk, a sitting desk, maybe a mini bar? Let us know in the comments and join us for one of the next IG Lives. Bye.